Hey guys, in today's tutorial I would like to show you a timer concept where you can change the time of the timer by just hitting switches that you can place on a wall. So what you can see here is my input panel. That is not how you need to build it because you can basically use any input that has different power levels. But this is a quite convenient way because I can show you the different times that you can set with this timer. So without any time set, it will have, has a default state with 256 seconds. Then the first one here is a bit pointless because that's just a normal hopper timer where an item is traveling back and forth with 0.8 seconds. But then we get to the interesting times here, which is 18 seconds, 37, 55 and so on. And this is always increasing by about 18.5 seconds. So we get in the end to 238 and that plus uh, 18 is then 256. So uh, the recue way uh, or the recue thing about this is that you can just change it by changing the levers and now it will change itself um, to 37 seconds no matter in which state it was before. So I don't have to change any amount of items in a hopper timer. This back here is basically the hopper timer that I made a tutorial for recently. There are just tr some changes in here as you can see. For example this repeater. Um, because otherwise we couldn't change the time while it is running. So uh, let me show you how to build this up yourself. And first off, let me tell you what materials you need, of course. So you need, of course, some building blocks and also some blocks that you can put in the hoppers. Then 19 redstone dust, two redstone torches, two repeaters, two comparators, two hoppers and 14 levers if you want to build it with the levers. So let me start building up the input panel because I think that that's where you would start in your own world too because you want to have it in a nice place. So uh, you put 15 blocks like this and then the 14 levers on the uh, last uh, 14 blocks here. Then we leave one without something because uh, that's then our default state and uh, of course we are taking the power level from down below here. You can also put it to uh, behind the lever so we could move this to the front if you need the space below. And uh, then we put a comparator here of course and this would do a calculation and now you see why we don't have a lever here because if we had a redstone power level of 15 here we would always have a zero in the output. So if we hit this switch we have a 14 here which makes then anything that is in there minus 14. So it will be zero or one then this one here uh, can uh, put a 13 to this and so on. So we get all the different redstone power levels and make the calculation and reduce the amount of um, redstone power level that comes out of here because of uh, this hopper that I can place like this with a block. Uh, so anything that is in here, uh, we will uh, yeah reduce by the amount of power level that we put the, to the side. Now I recommend putting a lever to the side of this uh, hopper so you can fill in your items. Uh, you want to fill this completely up with five stacks. So this is then the default time with 256 seconds. And now we can just complete the thing. So therefore we put another comparator right here. Then down here we need a redstone dust. We need to remove this block one more time to put a repeater down here because then you can see that uh, if I put a block here this would travel around from here and blocking this one so if any item is in here and uh, then we put a redstone torch to the side. This is basically just the tutorial of the normal hopper timer and then redstone dust up here, block in front and here to uh, connect this up and then a block on top and a redstone dust. This would be now the normal timer, but for the changing of uh, different inputs, we need to have a bit of a reset and therefore we just place a block here on top of the comparator, a repeater and a block on top of the hopper. And now this is already done, so you can remove your lever. This will start running now and you can get your output from this torch here to get a short pulse output or this one to get a uh, output where the time is split in half. So for an 18 second timer, this will stay on no 9 seconds and stay off 9 seconds. And uh, now we can yeah give an input to here. So for example, let's change it to the 18 second output. Now there are too many items in here and this will now change because of this repeater until uh, the right amount of items are inside. And um, yeah, then it will just um, yeah toggle between 
I guess it's 23 items that will travel to here and go back. And like this, we get the 18 second timer. And if I just want to change the time, I could just hit this switch and release this one. I can also just release all of them and change it back. It won't matter. And if you want to put another output, uh, input, I want to say to this, you can just um, put something on the side of this that has a redstone power level. So for example, a block with an item frame. If you want to uh, reduce the time that you have in here, then you can just um, yeah, reduce the items that are inside of the hopper and um, do it with less redstone power level, for example, with an item frame that can only have eight different states. You may want to put less items and the calculation that you then need to make to figure out the time, if you don't want to measure it, um, then you can uh, just uh, consider that one item is worth 0 0.8 seconds that's traveling. But uh, yeah, if you want to take these ones here, I will uh, now fly over these to uh, show you these ones more so you can maybe copy them. But that is it from this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends. And I hope then to see you in the next video. So until then, have a great day.